Hey everyone, we have some big news today about a major third-party game that I've actually played coming to Switch. It's awesome. It's amazing. You can see in the background we already know what it is. But before we get into it, hey... Subscribe to the channel, please. I mean, you don't have to, but I would appreciate it. Now, I'm trying a little bit of standing here with the new set here because uh, I'm pretty hyped. Uh, a rating has come out for Borderlands 3 uh, that features Nintendo Switch along with all the other platforms. Now, this rating is technically for the second part of the DLC season pass, not for the whole game. Uh, however, it's supposed to be here already. The DLC season pass is supposed to be April 8th. So it's saying essentially a Switch version of the game is here now, which it's not. Also, Borderlands 3 on Switch would be a major get. Now, it's not unthinkable to assume that Borderlands 3 could come to Nintendo Switch eventually. After all, we did get Borderlands Legendary Edition, which basically means all of the Borderlands games before 3 have come to Switch. So... It's not really crazy to think, hey, look, we're going to get Borderlands 3 on Switch. Now, it is crazy in so much that Borderlands 3 is pretty intensive. I played it back at E3 2019. That was on a top-of-the-line gaming PC. I have played it since then on other consoles and PCs. And yeah, it's a really great, fun game. And it would be a big get for Nintendo to continue to get big third-party support, especially since one of the major third-party companies that has been supporting Switch in Bethesda is now owned by Microsoft. So the chance of getting another Doom game, the chance of getting another Wolfenstein game have basically gone to zero with that acquisition now finalized. So that being considered, I mean, Skyrim, remember that was one of the early games? Again, Skyrim's on everything, so even Switch Pro, Skyrim will be there. Switch 20 billion, Skyrim will probably still be there because Microsoft will probably keep that meme going. Uh, reality is that I, I honestly think this game is probably coming to Switch. And now, why would it be announced through a rating instead of announced on its own? Well, part of that is because this rating is for the DLC. Uh, I think if a version comes to Nintendo Switch, it will have all of the DLC packaged in for a definitive edition, as this thing suggests. And, uh, yeah, I think that's... a Clearly something that would come out later this year. Now, why would it be announced through this instead of through, say, uh, a Nintendo Direct? Uh, that's because, well, this is technically for the DLC, and if the DLC is going to be included in the Switch version, they wanted to get the Switch version rated um, officially because this could be like an upcoming summer release. I think this is something that's either going to be surprise ghost dropped at E3 because sometimes you do get like Fortnite technically on Switch. Fortnite was a shadow drop during E3. It got leaked beforehand, but it was a shadow drop during E3 for Switch. That could be a very similar thing here happening with Borderlands 3. Now, we do know that Borderlands 3 and really any big name game could come to Switch because Control is on Switch thanks to streaming. So with streaming now being a thing on Switch, any game's possible. Uh, we would like it to play natively. The prior Borderland games were natively. I think with certain downgrades, this game could be played natively, but who really knows? What we do know is that Borderlands 3 does have an official rating that includes a Switch version. Again, we can assume there might have been a clerical error, but do we know it's a clerical error? That is an assumption. We do know the rating technically exists for a Switch version of the DLC for Borderlands 3 that's not even on Switch yet. I think a partner showcase is coming. I think an E3 uh, potential shadow drop is coming. I think Borderlands 3 is coming to Switch. I don't think it's really that surprising when you consider we already have prior Borderlands games on Switch. And as long as they sold well, why the hell not? I guess because, you know, they don't want to. I don't know. I mean, if you want Borderlands 3 on Switch, why not drop a like on this video? Because hell to the yeah, man. Borderlands 3 is a good game. And I want to continue to see Switch get third-party support over and over and over again, especially as we have entered this quote-unquote new generation. Again, I've argued in the past that Switch started that generation, but obviously, you know, we're talking massive power leaps uh, from PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5, Xbox, uh, even Xbox One X to Xbox Series X, like the power leaps and then the gap between that and the current Switch. I get it, folks, but I want to continue to see Switch get big support not just from nintendo we often talk about nintendo support but what about third parties well getting borderlands 3 and getting some of the best games from last generation on switch it should be a priority and then hopefully getting some of the new stuff i mean we're this far into switch we still don't have a call of duty uh capcom where the hell why are we not getting persona 
Why the heck are we getting Monster Hunter? Five million copies sold, but no Persona? What the hell, Capcom? I mean, I'm just saying, third-party companies, if you're not all in on Switch yet, what's wrong with you? Seriously, the system's going to be like over $100 million this year. Things are selling like crazy. If you're not all in, what's wrong with you? All right, folks, I am Nathaniel Robojets from Nintendo Prime. Uh, be sure to drop a like, subscribe. We have a giveaway going on. Head down to the pinned comment in the description to enter. Woo! The more videos I make, the more subscribers we lose. Yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next video.